Hey, what's going on guys? It's me again, and here's another update on the 1964 Dodge Custom A80. Today, we're going to be replacing the, uh, the fan clutch, because the fan clutch is going out and it's making a horrible screeching noise. The bearings are seized up, so uh, it, there's some telltale signs of when your fan clutch is going out. It'll sound like a turbine engine under your hood. Also, you'll have an issue where the clutch completely fails, but your bearings will be fine, which means it'll just free spin. And when your engine's all warmed up, it'll still be free spinning with not much, uh, not much effort at all. So you could just stop it with uh, stop the fan with your hands, your bare hands, and honestly, you'll notice a overheating condition also on your engine. But uh, enough talk. Uh, let's uh, get to replacing the uh, fan clutch on the engine, shall we? Tools you need to get started on this uh, fan clutch replacement, especially on these uh, Chrysler uh, C bodies and Imperials and whatnot. Uh, you'll need a half inch, half inch wrench, and that's pretty much it. And uh, some beverage of your choice, because you're gonna need it, because you're gonna get sap dry out here in this hot Texas weather. So as I stated before, when your clutch is going out you'll notice uh, that your engine may be overheating or overcooling. Uh, I believe I didn't mention the overcooling part, but when your clutch, or I mean, uh, your bearings fail inside your, uh, inside your, fan, uh, inside your uh, cooling fan or radiator fan, it'll just act like a solid, solid piece of metal, really. T technically, it'll act like a cooling fan that has no clutch, really, just constantly on constantly running so in this case uh, come on over here so I can show you so usually as you see down here I'm trying to rotate the fan and the clutch is I mean the bearings are so seized up to the point where it's not really letting the uh, fan free spin as you can see with the uh, pulley rotating down there it's supposed to kind of it's supposed to uh, free spin to an extent when it's cold and then as the engine warms up, it gradually uh, slowly grabs uh, this thermostatic coil, slowly uh, increases the resistance, allowing it to be kind of like in this condition right here. But in this case, I have figured out it's the bearings issue. So I'm just gonna get that replaced. Yeah. So in this case, it's not the clutch issue, it's just the uh, <coughs> bearings seized up. And this will affect your mileage also, so you better get this replaced as soon as possible. Also, um, I'll kind of do a demonstration of what this bad bearing or, yeah, ba bad bearing would sound like in your uh, uh, radiator fan clutch. <sighs> okay, so it's pretty much the first time this car is going to be starting for today, so you should hear an excessive amount of bearing noise if your bearings are seized up in this in my case and I'll sound pretty loud too radiator fan will be very very loud uh, when you rev it up If possible, um, keep your palm open so you don't punch anything with your fist down here because some serrated pieces of fan shroud around here, which could easily get me tetanus. Yeah, that's pretty tight. Awesome. <laughs> it's loose also. So I realize this is, I guess, not a grandeur task, if you will, as, you know, taking apart an engine and such, but I thought maybe 
taking apart a fan clutch on these Chrysler C bodies is uh, you know, it's it's be it's an update that's better than nothing. It's pretty tight balls. I'm just gonna loosely leave these nuts on because I don't want the uh, fan flopping around when I'm trying to remove the new uh, old clutch. That was pretty loose. Wow. Can't believe I didn't even check check these bolts recently to find out that they're freaking loose. Let's rotate the fan a bit so I can get to the other bolts. Okay. Next one right here. So also, here's another trick. To aid in the installation of the new clutch, you wanna leave the uh, one of the bolts in, uh, in, in the uh, water pump pulley. Also, uh, removing the fan shroud will give you access, or better access also. But right now, I'm just kind of being a bit lazy right now. I don't really want to take off half, half the entire car just to get to this thing. Oh, uh, I'm hoping that bolt fell down, which it did, which is down there. Good, good, good. <laughs> mm. Second bolt here. Little oh, bastard's not coming off. Well, damn. I knew that was gonna happen, but uh, hopefully the nut I dropped dropped somewhere where it's accessible. Let's just put it at that. Loose enough to the point where I can still leave the bolt on, but I can use that bolt later to aid me in the installation of the new clutch. Okay. All right, the clutch is off, so I can surgically remove the fan from the clutch assembly. Now, when you're working in a small place like this, you need to be let's say limber to get at some of the things in here there go. It's the clutch assembly right there Just kind of move this out of the way put the fan down slowly so it doesn't gouge into the uh radiator the last thing i need is a fucking radiator broken oh and there's a prize so if you're seeing this now, um, I actually ordered the fan clutch and unfortunately the parts guy sent the wrong one. What can you do, right? And that's the funny thing. This is my second time ordering this fan clutch and this guy got it wrong two times. So my third fan clutch, um, I ordered from somewhere else and apparently even though that fan clutch was the quote unquote correct one that was delivered to me, it wouldn't fit because the clearances were too low from the, uh, uh, from the water pump pulley to the radiator clearance would be too low. So the clutch would be grinding against the radiator. Oh, and uh, also if you noticed, I did move the car back over there because it was kind of raining a little bit earlier so then I had to move it back in and apparently it might hail later on. So as I said earlier this is the correct fan clutch now. It's about time. It's a much lower profile than the stock one down there. This is the fan clutch. Ooh ah shiny I know right. 
And uh, this, when you buy this set, it will not include mounting bolts, or it may include mounting bolts, but it's not going to include the additional bolts that is needed to mount up the, uh, the the fan blades to the fan clutch itself. And the part number is a is a Hayden two seven six five, and you can find some sufficient information about. Uh, fan clutches and such and the clearances um, on the website where I believe the website is called only for C bodies only. I believe the issue I had with the last fan clutch is that mm, it is a little bit longer than this one. So the issue was I think whoever had the longer fan clutch on their Chrysler C body is they had um, modified the radiator. So like aluminum uh, radiators are low profile. This one is a, is a fat chonker. It's like pretty thick. So that's, one of the issues where these low profile ones will be the stock OEM choice. Meanwhile, non OEM choice would be the the long elongated uh, el elongated fan clutches. Uh, also, I forgot to mention uh, when you buy your fan clutch, it may include with a spacer also this little yeah, the spacer. It goes on the back of the mounting flange right here. So this piece slides in like that. Also, I sprayed some WD-40 on this old clutch and I was able to get it loose. So let's see if we can gear it. Yeah, so pretty much, oh, never mind, it froze up. So that screeching noise that you're hearing can be heard at uh, while the engine is operating, and it was a pretty horrible sound. You know, I would go to, I would go to classes, and you know, at my college, and then I would get into the parking lot, and then this screeching noise would just reverberate throughout the entire parking lot. It's uh, kind of embarrassing in a way, because it kind of gives people the wrong idea of this car being dilapidated and clapped out, if you will. Which, no, it is not clapped out. This engine runs good. So, aside from me yakking on, and yep, that fits all right. Okay, we'll just put it down there and see how it goes. All right, so if you can see down there, that's a target. New clutch, ready to go. Let's just snake it down here without burning myself on the radiator, which I already did plenty of times. Ooh, tight clearance here. Clutch just a little bit more until it goes in. Ah, that's what I was missing. I forgot the spacer. Oh no. Oh no. Well, uh, I'm not gonna stop the recording. I'll just kind of show you how much of a pain in the ass it is if you forget one part to put in. <laughs> you are in for a long time of pain. Actually, that one went in quite quick. I guess a tip, if you will. If you're going to do this job, I'd highly recommend removing the uh, fan shroud. I didn't in this case, because I was too lazy. And it cost me quite a lot of hours, because as you can see, it's already dark now. And uh, to a couple tips to help you out here is you would have to um, secure the the fan to the clutch first with the bolts that's that may be provided in the kit and after that uh, you might want to yeah secure the fan to the clutch first and then that'll give you some extra leg room if you will to secure the clutch to the uh, pulley itself down there so considering how much or how the clearance is low when you attach the uh, 
the fan clutch onto the fan pump or water pump. The clearance is pretty low, so I'm not exactly sure if you guys are able to get a torque wrench in there. But if you guys are able to, uh, here's the torque setting. Let's see. Uh, torque reference to. And here it is. Water, water pump bolts, 30 foot pounds. Fan attaching bolts is 16 to 18 foot pounds. Not much. So it's just just past snug, I'd say. Here's the original bolt that was on the water pump, uh, water pump pulley. I'm gonna be reusing these because these are really, really good. Uh, you can see down there, these ones, that one's on and the other side's on. It's a pain in the ass, and more than I thought it was gonna be. And you're literally working with finger, fingertip amount of dexterity. Also, another tip here that may help you out in the installation of these very, very low profile fan clutches, because right here, the clearance from the mounting flange to the clutch itself was so low to the point where the, I couldn't get the bolt to uh, face perpendicular uh, to the uh, to the pulley itself so that it can screw it and so the head kept getting stuck right here. You see this little silvery spot right here? It kept getting stuck on that. You'd want to screw the rest of these fan or fan pulley bolts in but just slightly so that it's enough to hold the clutch in but it's not restricting the uh, restricting the uh, clearance to go uh, to get the bolts in because as of right now uh, I was able to get this bolt in unscrew these other bolts around the flange or pulley flange so that you can move the entire clutch slightly outward and you'll get be able to get the bolt in through right here see so here's another problem too the wrench can't fit onto here because there well there's not enough clearance so here comes the tediousness of wrenching on these manually and no you can you can barely i mean you can get a you get the wrench barely in here, you're not gonna be able to do with this with the socket. Quite um, quite unfortunate. All of you socket lovers out there. Me included. Um one more tip. Uh hopefully it's a tip. Um you can a use of a rubber glove helps while you grab onto that pulley and then you can tighten the uh bolts that's going to the uh pulley flange. Let's put the final touches, shall we? Uh, my kit included the washers, but it didn't include the bolts. So you'll have to scrounge up some bolts, most likely, uh, from some box that you have at home or something that's filled with spare, spare parts. I think this is one of those jobs where it's like, should have been a an hour job, maybe 50, mm, no, 30 minute job, but then it took me roughly four hours. Yeah, it's one of those jobs. It's one of those jobs that keeps on giving. Somebody's using a megaphone over there, see what it sounds like. I think that's a police officer using the megaphone. I think there's an incident going on back there. Because I heard, get, you know, get out or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yep, sounds like some... Yep, sounds like somebody's getting pulled out of their car or something. Huh, well, 
your hands at your side. And that's what I heard. Today's episode of 1964 Dodge Custom 80. Police officers catch some perp near my backyard. All right, uh, that's the last of the bolts all hooked up. And that's looking pretty nice. I'm just gonna start the engine to kind of show you guys that the clutch is, well, working. It's got, Aside from this thing right here. I'm probably gonna keep this one as a reference because these old parts are kind of uh, important to know how it went all together or back together. Yep, making use out of that uh, interior light. serious here no doubt about that I'm actually surprised on how much air is moving like the older clutch I would feel like a slight well it's not very uh, it's kind of like slightly above slight breeze and this was moving a lot of air speaking of breeze that was kind of scary with the door opening and opening up like that Yeah, cool. I think uh, this will keep the underhood temps much cooler because I believe that one is a heavy duty fan clutch. Uh, I may be mistaken, it might be a standard, a standard fan clutch also. I'm not exactly sure if this older one was a heavy duty one also. So who knows? Uh, I hope that I don't have to return that fan clutch and then uh, get a replacement like a heavy duty one because apparently that that may be standard standard duty fan clutch so uh yeah that's pretty much it on the fan clutch replacement uh it was kind of a pain in the ass than i thought it would it would be uh i know you know replacing a fan clutch it's not really a big of a job and it, it's not i mean i think i'm What's it? I don't think one of these, the job and the thing I did today was not, you know, like this big, big videos where it's like, I took apart an engine, I took apart the valve, uh, the valve train, you know, stuff like that. It's not really grand. I, I know, I know. But I kind of thought maybe these smaller updates would, mm, would, I guess, suffice, you know, just to update it every time on whatever I'm doing and even you know this of this a small job too even this clutch here put up a gluten pretty uh, pretty good fight uh, for how old it is so uh, props to uh, you know the old engineers that made this uh, uh, fan clutch also this fan clutch just seems to be a uh, actually just you know just worn out and you know, props to that for lasting that long so uh comment rate and subscribe and uh please look at my uh other dodge videos i guess thanks
I guess this is, uh, counts as some bonus footage also. Um, shortly after I got done uh, fixing the fan clutch on my car, uh, one of the transformer went out on the power lines back over here. You can see back there, there's the uh, fire department is uh, working on cutting, cutting the tree limbs off. And uh, trying to get to the uh, transformer itself because there was quite an explosion. Not to mention there's a lot of flashing going on with uh, the thunder going on and such.